What's up, y'all? <clears throat> a little bit of a different video today. I wanted to kind of show you guys some of the albums that I purchased, not to show off, really, <clears throat> excuse me, but more just to kind of reinforce what this channel is about. This channel is about promoting artists, a lot of them artists that don't really get enough credit or don't get enough money or promotion or don't sell out big stadiums or any of that stuff. These are artists that are quality within the metal genre that I feel could uh, use a little bit more from fans and from record labels and from really everybody. These are CDs that I've purchased also to kind of reinforce to you guys to give back to these artists. Go out, get a streaming service, you know, go to concerts, buy merch, buy albums. Support these people because um, it's very, very important, you know, unless we really make a concerted effort to uh, compensate these people for their work, then they're not going to have any incentive to to be professional musicians and quit their day job. Everyone's got to eat, right? And we're not talking about Kiss and Guns N' Roses and Metallica and frickin' Ghost or Gojira here. We're talking about smaller artists. So first CD I want to show you guys, kind of get it out of the way. And again, these are newer, uh, newer albums. These are albums that I own now. This is the first one. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is uh, and I believe this album came out. Let me get the booklet out. I believe this album came out in 2017, but I could be wrong. Really, really good album. I never get tired of listening to this thing. Of course, here you've got all of the lyrics in the in the booklet, so that's pretty cool. Thorns is still probably my favorite song. Some pretty cool artwork there. It says it was recorded recorded in 2016, but I believe it was released. It says Profound Lore Records here 2017. So, yeah, this one's pretty new. I don't really know how you would categorize this thing. Um, I guess people call it Doom, but... I don't really know if this necessarily needs categorization. It's just good. If you haven't heard this album, again, this is Heartless. The album's called Heartless by Paul Bearer. Check this out, because this is definitely an album worth buying and worth listening to. So that's the first album. These next four are albums that I've uh, reacted to on the channel. So I want you guys to know that I am taking the time to really give back to some of these artists um, as much as I can. You know, everyone's got a budget, but um, this is, of course, Altars of Grief. This album is called Iris, and love, love, love the uh, album cover on that one. It's very beautiful, kind of like a charcoal gray, a little bit messy there, and the inside... So that kind of a cool, desolate landscape. Um, this album, you guys saw, I gave this thing a glowing reaction slash review. So I really enjoyed this thing. Again, we've got the inner sleeve. Folds out. You've got all the lyrics there. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Favorite song off that album, Child of Light. All these CDs, um, some of you people may not have you know, a CD player or a record player or, you know, a way to consume some of these albums to buy the albums and consume them. What I would say your best bet if you're in that situation is to pay for a streaming service if you really wanted to give back and go to concerts in your area. That's really, of course, uh, buy merch as well, but that's still a way you can give back. You don't have to buy the, the album, the record, and you don't have to buy the CD. So, but if you can, if you can get a vehicle with a CD player in there, then you're golden. You can buy as many CDs as you want. You'll actually spend time listening to them. So, again, this is great, great, great stuff here. Really happy I bought this thing. Anything that sounds remotely similar to Woods of Ypres, you know, I'm going to be all for. And if, as long as it's ex executed well, I'm going to be a fan of it. So, next, we have a big one. For me on this channel, this is Slug J 
And Slug J is how you say this name. It's a pretty difficult one if you don't know. But the guy, one of the guys from Willow Tip Records, um, this band's record label actually, I think under the Banger TV video album review for this, in the comment section he said the right way to say it is Slug J. So that's what I'm going with. But yeah, this is Esoteric Malacology. Great, great modern progressive death metal right here. Um, slug metal. This is the ins what the inside looks like. We've got the uh, the booklet here. Lyrics on every page. As you'll notice, this is actually a very like verbose album. Lots of verbiage getting packed into these songs, so kind of interesting. And it looks like the lyrics themselves, from what I've heard, the lyrics themselves actually uh, dig into sort of the slug lore and the mollusca idea a lot deeper. So apparently the lyrics are a trip, but I'm not really big into lyrics, so I don't generally dig into them too deeply. Nevertheless, the guitar playing on this album is so freaking good. These two guys, I know the one guy's name is Matt Moss. I think the other guy's name is Kevin. I'm not sure about his last name. But, man, they really knocked it out of the park with this album. So, definitely a great one to pick up if you're looking for some cutting-edge progressive death metal. Get it. Slug J, Esoteric Malacology. Don't want to miss out on that one. Then we've got another one of my favorites from this year. This is, of course, Amorphous, Queen of Time. Um, this one is just beautiful. Like, the, the layout of this. CD, look at that, man. That's pretty sweet. That's the inside. Um, also, we've got some photos of the band here. If you fold the whole thing out, you've got a photo of everyone in the band. So, And I think that's Tommy Yautzen on the very, very end there. So that's pretty much what it looks like. The album artwork on this thing is just incredible, man. It's so cool. This is the booklet. It's pretty thick. There's a lot of stuff in here. Again, kind of a centerfold with everybody in the band. That's pretty cool. And then lyrics. Tons and tons and tons of lyrics on every single page. So, yeah, pretty neat stuff. Um, this is a great album to just like ride around in the car and listen to. Because all the songs are solid and you never get tired of listening to them. They're so catchy. They're written very, very well. You know, I'm learning even the songs that I wasn't too excited about as far as like the songs I didn't think were in the elite category on this album. The first time I heard them, uh, songs like Message in the Amber, uh, Daughter of Hate, songs like that. I'm growing more and more to really appreciate and like those songs. So this, Queen of Time, you guys have to get this. Cool thing about CDs too is that they don't take up as much space and they are um, a lot cheaper than what you'll find at most record stores. I mean, you're going to get more if you buy the actual record, the vinyl, but man, for somebody who doesn't feel like uh, plucking down all the money or plopping down all the money to get a record player and get that whole setup, you know, something like this is a really cool alternative. And this is only about $12, so... You're not out too much money. But then we've also got, and this is the last one I'll show you. This is Woods of Ypres, Woods 5, Gray Skies, and Electric Light. This might be my favorite album that I've reacted to on the channel so far. I'm just obsessed. I've been obsessed with this thing for a little while. I think I'm reaching the point now where I've literally listened to it so much. It's starting, the, the initial excitement is starting to wear off a little bit. But by this point, I know all the songs so well that putting it on is like being reacquainted with an old friend, you know, seeing an old friend again. So here's what the booklet looks like. Pretty old school. Um, on the back, it's got all the credits having to do with the album. Inside, again, we're looking at lyrics. Looks like all of the... Um, <clears throat> Pages are kind of framed with those same trees that are featured on the album cover, so it's pretty cool. 
but yeah, man, that that album cover, man, that is so freaking awesome. I wonder the artist who did that did a really good job. And I don't know, just this album for me is a very sentimental album just because of the circumstances surrounding the artist's death. You don't really find albums like this too often. Yeah, that's what the the back of it looks like. That's what the inside looks like. Who knows, maybe that's David, you know, crossing the uh, river Styx or something. But, yeah, this is a, this is a fantastic album. If you guys enjoyed this uh, album when you saw the reaction or if you like songs from this album, please um, buy this album if you can. Woods of Ypres is no longer a band, but you can still support um, the people that that made Woods of Ypres possible and uh, support, hopefully support David Gold's family and give them, show them a little bit of love because, you know, they definitely blessed us with one of the best uh, metal musicians, multi-instrumentalists in that genre, you know, at least while he was alive. I mean, the guy... The guy was a really, really good songwriter, great vocalist, good guitar player, and a drummer. So, um, But that's it, guys. Those are all the CDs I wanted to show you. Not to, again, not to show off, but just to kind of reinforce, like, if you like something and you haven't yet gotten a streaming service or um, gone out of your way to go see a show or bought any merch or if you haven't purchased an, a CD or a record, like, seriously think about it because, again... Especially when you're talking about these artists that that aren't like Ghost, that aren't like Mastodon, that aren't like, you know, a perfect circle, that aren't, you know, selling out these huge uh, venues and playing to these raucous cl uh, crowds. You know, if you guys could support some of these smaller and mid-level artists, the genre would be a lot healthier. So, if you guys already do, that's great. I want to hear, you know... A little bit about what you guys do to show your support and uh, let me know what you think about some of these albums man if you guys um, like these any of these albums if you saw the videos that I put up if you like those just uh, if you dug the video don't forget to like comment subscribe and uh, you're gonna be seeing another album reaction here very shortly probably in the next few days and uh, yeah this is metal album reactions I hope you guys are having a good morning, a good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And uh, stay true to yourself, stay metal. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace.